In this video of the After Effects Fundamentals series, I'll show you how to import files into After Effects and stay organized. You can import images like PNGs or JPEGs, video files like MP4s or MOVs, audio files, and also artwork from Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. And that's not an exhaustive list. Remember that I have these handy visual guides that go with all the videos in this After Effects Fundamentals series. You can bookmark this page so you can quickly reference these guides when you forget how to do something in After Effects. To import a file, you want to go up to File, Import, File, or use the shortcut of Command or Control I. You could also just double click in the empty space in the project panel. Then navigate to where the file is located on your computer. Depending on what file type you're importing, You'll have different settings here that can be important depending on what you're trying to do. And we'll go more into the settings later in this video series. If you don't see the settings, just click the options button. Once you've got your file selected, just hit open. Now over in the projects panel, we can see this new image that I've imported. So if you double click on it, it will bring it up in the composition viewer. But this is just a PNG still image. So let's say I wanted to bring this image into a composition so that I can add some animation to it. To do this, I'm going to drag the image into the composition that's opened up in the timeline here. So now this image is in this example comp. Now, if I actually wanted to animate these different elements within the image, Using a static image like a PNG would not be the way to import this. You'd want to have this as the original artwork, either from Photoshop or Illustrator, and then you'd want to have that separated out into layers. And we're going to go into all of that in a later video, but this is the basics of importing. The most important thing to take away from this video is that anything that you import into your After Effects project file is going to be linked into that project. Once you import a file, After Effects now knows where that file is stored, whether it's on your computer, hard drive, or cloud storage. So if you move that file to another location or folder on your computer or hard drive or cloud storage, After Effects won't know where it is and you'll get a missing footage error. This is why it's so important to stay organized. Here's an example of a really simple animation project. So I have this logo animation folder on my computer and then I have different subfolders for all the different components that go into this animation. So first is AE, which is just the project file. AI is for the Illustrator artwork. The audio folder will contain any music, sound effects, or voiceover, and the project files for those. And then the out folder will contain any of the final exports. So usually that's video files of the final animation. I also like to organize the project panel within After Effects to have a lot of the same folders that I have in the folder structure on my computer. To create a folder in the project panel, you just have to click this little folder icon down here and you can create a name for it. Or you can select it and hit the trash can to delete. This elements folder is kind of a catch-all for any compositions or imported files like Illustrator files that are a part of the final animation and I keep what's going to be exported as the final animation in the out folder. This folder called solids is something that After Effects makes by itself, and so you should just leave that as is and don't delete it. Depending on your project, you can organize your files and folders in any way that you'd like. The most important thing here is just that you have a system for organization. One other thing you might need to know is that if you need to rename anything in the project panel or really any layer in After Effects, just select it and hit enter. And now you have the ability to rename and then just click out of it to save that name. That's all that you need to know about importing and file organization, at least for now. In the next video, we'll start creating animations by setting keyframes.